For some of you who travel a lot, United in O'Hare is a bad mix anyways. So United has this cutting knack of having issues. Either they're late for stuff, they're on delayed or mechanical issues. So we had mechanical issues in South Bend. We were on the tarmac for about almost two hours. So I knew I would miss my connection. So I get to O'Hare, I make a beeline for the customer service desk. I get there and I was just shocked. I was introduced to the biggest line, the longest line I had ever seen in my entire life. I was like, well, I gotta, I gotta get on this line. So I hop on the line and um, I began people watching. I love people watching. Um, I'm always wondering what's on their mind, but on their minds. But this lady was in, in front of me, and I didn't have to worry because she was very verbal about what was on her mind. She was upset. She came on the flight with me from South Bend, and she was just livid about uh, being uh, delayed and missing her connection. So she was. This is young adult, so I could say she was cussing. She was dropping f bombs, f sharps, s and actuals, you know. And I was just entertained. Two hours later. We're almost to the front of the line, just two or three people back, and I heard her say the unspeakable. She said to her friend, that's it, I'm out of this line, I'm leaving. I wanted to just grab her by the hand and say, ma'am, are you kidding me? You just spent two hours on this line. We're almost, you could, you, we're almost there, and, and, and you're leaving before the story ends. You're, you're leaving before the story ends. And I, I wonder what would it look like if we would leave before the story ends. There's a story in Mark chapter 6 when, when Jesus is walking on water. The disciples are in a storm and, and, and they cry out to him and he gets into the boat. Uh, the storm dies and Christ looks at them and he says, he says, oh, he of little faith. That's an interesting statement because in the, in the chapter before, Christ was in a town and it says he could not do any miracles because they had no faith. Yet he says to the disciples, you have little faith. And when I look into the Greek, it actually does not speak of, of quantity or, or quality of faith. It speaks of endurance. Christ is saying, in, an, in essence, oh, he of lacking enduring faith, sticking with it till the end. That there is a Christ that says, I know earth, this earth is hard. I know life circumstances are just sometimes unbearable. But not only have I promised to never leave you or forsake you, I've promised to equip you, equip you with faith to allow you to endure till the end. One of my friends who died of cancer told me this one time. He said, life on earth is tough, but God's retirement plan is out of this world. Stay till the end of the story. Let's pray. Would you grant us that faith, Father, never to give up and to depend wholly on you is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you.